आउज़बल्मिन शैदान रजीम बसमीम असलम स्टूडेंट्स हव यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो बेटा वी ऑल नो दैट दैट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज़ सेल्स टिश्यूज़ एंड ऑर्गन्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट आवर सेकेंड लेसन फ्राम योर बुक विच इज़ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन सोल्यूशन इन सस्पेंशन सो बेटा द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वट इज सोल्यूशन अ सोल्यूशन इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ टू और मोर केमिकल्स इन विच द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर इवनली डिस्पर्स और स्केटर इवनली डिस्पर्स और स्केटर मीन्स दैट यू मेक अ सोल्यूशन विच यू कैन सी ईजीली और विच इज़ वेरी क्लियर एंड देयर इज़ नो पार्टिकल सस्पेंडेड इन एड सो दैट वी कैन टेक टू एग्जाम्पल्स Uh, from this, a tank juice is a solution of tank powder and water. Sea water is a solution of salt water and other minerals. In a diagram, you can see that there are two juices. One is yellow and one is uh, red in color. So, uh, basically, these are the examples of tank juices where uh, you can make two tablespoon tank powder with water, and you can make a solution of it. So that uh, that solution. Uh, because uh, will be a clear solution, and that's not uh, that kind in which some particle suspended. And the second one is that a sea water. We all know that uh, when we go to the picnic uh, at beach side, so you can see that the sea water is very clear solution, very clear solution of salt because it uh, tastes very salty. Uh, and also the other minerals are present in our sea water so what are the characteristic of solution and how can you identify between two solution that uh, which one is solution and what uh, which one is uh, not a solution so the very first characteristic is that it is a uniform mixture okay uniform means there is no particle suspended in a solution a solution allows light to pass that in a picture you can see that a torch light is passes through a container which contain a solution or uh, you can take a example of water here so that a light is easily passes through the container the third one is that the mass of solution is always equal to the masses of solvent and solute in it so beta what does it means that if you take in a second uh, diagram uh, on a right side you can see that a beaker containing an orange color solvent plus solute blue color solute and is equals to it make a solution how can it be possible uh, you can just put down or add this solute solute in a solvent beaker and mix it well so that you can make a solution but uh, the point is that the mass of solution is always equal to the masses of solvent and solute in it so that here we have 100 grams of solvent and 20 grams of solute after mixing it the volume becomes 120 g is it actual of that before making the solution if we plus 100 and 20 then it becomes 120 so that the masses are same before and after making the solution now the fourth one is that no chemical change is involved between the solvent and the solute there is no chemical change when you add salt in a water to make a salt solution when you add water in a solvent or uh, water uh, uh, sorry uh, when you add sugar in a solvent so that it makes a sugar solution but there is no chemical change like you see that the fumes are going out and the color changes no beta the solution will be clear at that time okay so uh, in a third diagram you can uh, see that uh, it is written here examples of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture so beta the word uniform you can take as a synonym of a homogeneous mixture so that you can find out it easily that what uh, will be the uniform mixture or a homogeneous mixture in a solution here we have two examples Uh, sand plus water and sugar plus water if we mix a tablespoon of sand in a glass of water it will not dissolve in a water so it will not be a homogeneous mixture 
on the other hand if we dissolve a tablespoon of sugar in our water so that it will dissolve and disappear quickly so basically it is the example of a uniform mixture now what is the most plentiful solution on earth we all know that the sea water the ocean water uh, our world our earth is mostly consist of uh, the one type of solution which is the ocean water this water made its way down to the sea it dissolved salt and other minerals as a solute from the rocks in the earth crust so beta you can see here that these rocks are uh, in the ocean uh, these rocks contain minerals and some salt so that uh, by the time Uh, slowly slowly these minerals and salt get dissolved in the uh, sea water and that uh, that's why the taste of the sea water is salty uh, also a pie chart is here that the composition of sea water that how many solutes are present and how many minerals are present uh, present in a sea water so the 55% chloride and the 31% sodium uh 7.7% magnesium sulfur calcium and other solutes are also present in your sea water now uh we have talk about solution and a solution is made by adding solute and solvent so what is solute and what is solvent here in a bowl you can see that a bowl containing a salt and a container containing a water in it and after that by adding the two you can make a salt water which is a solution so what is solute a solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent and said to be soluble so that salt can be a solute because it is easily dissolvable and soluble in solvent and what is solvent a substance that absorb or dissolves a substance that can dissolve in it a substance it is termed as a solvent here uh, we have two more terms dilute solution and a concentrated solution so beta what is dilute solution a dilute solution is a weak solution or having little solute concentrated solution is a strong solution or one containing a lot of solute so from the diagram uh, you can see the difference that a dilute solution is of very light color but the concentrated solution is of very dark color because dilute solution contain one tablespoon of sugar but on the other hand the concentrated solution contain five tablespoons of sugar or salt you can add any solute which you want okay beta in a second diagram you can see that a arrow shows from diluted to concentrated beta you can uh, take a example from roo afza which we uh, drink in ramzan that uh, we add a table spoon of uh, roo afza in a glass of water or add 3 table spoon of roo afza in one glass of water so you can see the difference a glass which contain 1 tablespoon of roo afza will be of light red color but a glass contain 3 tablespoon of roo afza will be of dark red color so that dark red colored solution will be concentrated and the light one will be diluted and also if you want to dilute a concentrated solution you can just add solvent which is your water you can just add water in a concentrated solution and make your diluted solution also the roo afza bottle is basically a concentrated solution and you are making a roo afza juice by adding water in it so that the juice will be diluted okay now the new uh, the more two new terms saturated solution and a super saturated solution so what is the saturated solution a saturated solution is one that will not dissolve any more solute at that temperature it means that there is a test tube in which you have taken uh, water in it and you are adding solute and adding and adding and adding in it 
but at the time the solute will not dissolve in it and that it will settle down at the bottom but if you heat that test tube gently so that that solute will uh, start dissolving in it so beta uh, that solution which dissolve solute after providing temperature it is called as the super saturated solution so what will be the definition of super saturated solution a super saturated solution is one that has more solute in solution than would normally dissolve at that temperature in a diagram on right side you can see that a saturated solution in a container containing extra solute when we heat it so that uh, it dissolve all the uh, extra solute in it and it becomes a super saturated solution okay now so here i have some homework questions for you all what is the most plentiful uh, plentiful liquid on earth write four characteristics of solution how could you make concentrated solution weaker what is the saturated solution what effect does warming have on saturated solution means when you heat saturated solution what will happen 